Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us, Short Shorts Film Festival in Asia, along with the wonderful people at JICA Yokohama. And uh, time now for a short film trip to Kenya. We're so happy to be back. Uh, this is our fourth collaboration with uh, JICA Yokohama. And it's always, always a great treat to uh, meet some people from around the world, especially uh, Africa. And uh, let's get started with today's show. I'm DJ John for Short Shorts. And we're gonna get started. Hi, Minasan Konbanwa, DJ John desu. え、本日もえ、お付き合いよろしくお願いします。最後までお付き合いよろしくお願いします。で、これからやく1時間半なんですが、え、JICA協力機関と言いまして、で、昨年の8月になりますが、えっとですね、その時はえっとショートフィルムトリップ南スーダンでしたね。で、今年の3月目はショートフィルムトリップスーダンエンドウガンダとあの、今までは3回目の、え、3回のコラボレーションイベント
映画上映を通してアフリカの現状や課題を皆様と一緒に考える機会とさせていただきたいと思っています。今回は TICAT のアフリカでの初の開催国となりまた外交関係樹立ちょうど今年60周年のケニアを選んでケニアの留学生にも参加してもらいましてこの機会とさせていただきます。ここで少しだけ TCAT についてお話しさせていただきます。えー、TCAT は東京インターナショナルコンファレンスオンアフリカンディベロップメントアフリカ開発会議の略となります。アフリカの開発をテーマとする国際会議でして1993年に初めて開催されました。えー、日本政府が主導しましてそれ以外にも国連国連開発計画 UNDP ですね、世界銀行、アフリカ連合委員会と共同で開催しています。横浜での開催は2008年、2013年、2019年、そして2025年に4回目が開催されることが決定されました。2016年以降は、日本とアフリカで順番に開催されていまして今回のケニアはその初のアフリカでの開催国となった国となります、えー、前回の横浜開催時には42名の首脳級を含むアフリカ53カ国から参加がありまして、えー、それ以外にも国際機関や民間セクター NGO など1万人以上の方々が参加しています開発をテーマとする会議の他にもさまざまなイベントが開催されまして、えー、今日参加している皆様にはぜひ、えー、本会議もありますしそれ以外のいろいろなイベントに興味を持って参加いただけますと幸いです。今日は、えー、映画の上映とともに先ほどジョンさんからお話しありましたように、えー、興味深いトークセッションも行われますのでこの機会にアフリカ、そしてケニアに興味を持っていただけましたら幸いです。最後に少しだけジャイカ横浜についても紹介させてください。ジャイカ横浜は赤レンガ倉庫やハンマーヘッドのすぐそばにあります。一般の皆様にもお立ち寄りいただけまして、えー、カフェでは、えー、様々な地域のお料理が楽しめますし、また日本の途上国支援や世界大野さんちょっとミュートになってるよ。今からだ、今ですかミュートになったのは。えー、っと、20秒前ぐらいかな。<笑> 20秒前。じゃあ、横浜センターの説明から。カフェまで行きました、ね。<笑>カフェですか。はい。はい、じゃあ、カフェ以外にもですね、<笑>あの、日本の途上国支援や世界の国々の情報を発信しています。で、また、150年前から日本人は、えー、ハワイや中南米に移住をしていまして、その人たちの、えー、歴史、その人たちが中南米でどういうふうに国づくりに貢献したかっていうことを、えー、学べる場所でもあります。入場料も無料ですので、ぜひお立ち寄りいただけたらと思います。はい、私からは、かの硬い話は以上にして、皆様、映画を楽しんでいただけたらと思います。どうぞよろしくお願いします。大野さん、ありがとうございます。あのハマーヘッドは行ったことあるんだけどあのジャイカにカフェがあるんだはいありますあの食べ物が大好きで3階,、うん、3階はい、はい、あの海も見える場所にありますのでぜひでいろんなアフリカの料理も出てくるあるんだいろんな国のアフリカだけじゃなくて中南米のお料理とかもあります、うんえー、あの時々によって違うので楽しんでください、うんあいいですね。えー、っと、まあ、定休日とか毎日やってるんですかえー、っとですね、はい、基本的に毎日やってますけど、うん、資料館は、えー、っと日曜日、月曜日がお休みですね。はい。ありました。もうぜひ使い打ち行かせていただきます。ありがとうございます。はい、お待ちしてます。はい、大野さんでした。ありがとうございました。じゃあ、えー、ここでまた、えー、カメラとマイクオフにしていただきたいと思います。ありがとうございました。
まあ、あのこのイベントは JICA さんと共に、まあ、開催する我々ショートショートフィルムフェスティバルのエジアは毎年6月に、えー、東京都内の各会場であ,のあとオンラインでも開催しておりますで我々はあのアジア最大級の国際短編映画祭、えー、毎年120以上の国や地域から、まあ、6000本多い時はもう8000本9000本以上の応募作品が我々に世界中から集まってくるんですよね。で、そこからいろいろベストまでのセレクトをして、映画祭として約200本以上を皆さんにご覧いただいております。会場でもオンラインでもアクセスできますので、ぜひぜひショートショートフィルムフェスティバル、ウェブサイト、ホームページをチェックしていただきたいと思います。で、今回はこれまで出会ったできたショートフィルムの中からショートフィルムトリップケンヤということでケンヤが舞台の2作品を上映したいと思いますで YouTube コメント欄ではケンヤに関して質問を募集しておりますのであの集まった質問にはこちらの方々にお答えいただきたいと思います登場してもらいましょうかケンヤ出身のジャイカ研修員のソロモンウェイカサさんそしてエリック・マスクさんえー、そしてオスカー・ノーマンさんに登場してもらいたいと思います。Hey guys, can you turn on your,、uh, your camera and your microphones, please?Come on on, Solomon and Eric and Oscar.There you are.Hello.Hello. I think Oscar is having some technical problems, so we'll start with you too. オスカーは多分ちょっとね、機材的なプロあの問題になってると思うので。Um, Eric, so first we'll start with you. Um, thanks for joining us.、Uh, まずエリクさんからちょっといろいろお伺いしたいと思うんですが、How long have you been in Japan now?、Uh, thank you very much.、Uh, actually, I've been in Japan since,、uh, uh, since December 2021. I came just when,、uh, when, when Japan had just lifted the COVID travel bans. So, yeah, I've been here, although I started my coursework in April 2022. But before that, I was a research student. So I'll be graduating most likely、uh, that is in、uh, March next year. Thank、okay. you.、Mm. Uh, Eric san wa、uh, 2021年12月、まあ、ちょうどあの日本のコロナのおかげでやっとあのちょっと日本に入れる時期に来まして、で2022あの2年の4月に、えー、またあのちょっといろいろあの勉強というか学校が始まったんですよね。And what is your Uh, main subject of study?、Uh, thank you very much.、Uh, my profession, I'm a mechanical engineer, and、uh, currently I'm doing a master's in uh, uh, material science where I'm studying about、uh, energy and especially hydrogen energy storage in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in metallic form, in solid form. So mostly like I'm dealing with catalysts and、uh, Uh, studying the chemical、uh, reactions between、uh, hydrogen the molecule and、uh, the metals.、Uh, these metals are like alloys or pure metals. Wow, that is amazing. They are talking about mechanical engineering. They are talking about. なんて言うんでしょうね。そのエネルギーの再現とかどういうふうにそのエネルギーをあの。自然の資源を使って生かせるかっていう、まあ、がメインのテーマなんですけど、ちょっとあの、なんていうんですか、ね、すごくあの難しい、あの、あれなんで、あのなんていうの、勉強なので、ちょっと説明しにくいんですけど、まあ、とにかくこれは多分、あの、ケニアに戻って、ケニアの未来のために、そのエネルギー資源をどういうふうにうまく使って、国のためになるのかっていう、あの、の,のための勉強になってると思うんですよね。Do you foresee that this is a really, really, I think, Important subject for not only Kenya and Africa, perhaps, but for the whole world.、Um, is it one of your objectives is to go back home and do something with energy for your country, for Kenya? Yes,、uh, I foresee that、uh, what I'm studying is something which can be applicable、uh, in the whole world and also in Kenya in particular, because it more deals with the renewable energy.、Mm. And as you know,、uh, the world is changing from the fossil powered fuel to now renewable energy. And、uh, hydrogen itself is quite abundant、uh, in the atmosphere and also in other forms, maybe in water.、Wow. So I foresee that、uh, in the future, Actually, right now we have some、uh, research, a lot of research, and also we have some, some of the hydrogen plants which are coming up. 
uh, in some parts of the world, mostly the developed countries, mm -hmm. which I foresee later in the future will move to the developing countries. That's wonderful. Ma, no, toki ni ne ma sekai juu ni kore kara ma sekiu kara mochoto ano ma mochiro saki ma hanashi atta ndesu kedo ano kaze to ka wind energy to ka ano solar energy mo so nan ndesu kedo solar panel mo so nan ndesu kedo ano sotchi no hon ga mo kore kara no mirai no tame no ano ma kono toki ni kono futari wa soyu benkyou shite kuni dake ja nakute sekai no tame ni koyu ano koto manande ano umaku kore kara mirai no tame ni liyo shite ikitai kuyu koto nan desu yo ne and eric uh, please tell us just very simply what do you think of japan how has your stay been so far <laughs> I think yeah, Japan is quite an interesting place to live. Uh, I think it's one of the most interesting places in the world, being that uh, uh, Japan's culture is very different, uh, especially the honesty in the people, the politeness in the people, mm. and uh, how hardworking the people are. I think they are quite an exception in the world. Uh, those are some of the things which I can point out, which everyone can see. Oh, I that's think great. That's, yeah. I've enjoyed my stay so far. I've not had any problems, any issues, or yes. That's wonderful. Ma, ano, Nihon ni taishite no chotta, ano, bukan so kita ndesu kedo, sugoku ano, ano, ma, kyomi bukai, omoshiroi kuni da te ten desu yo ne. De, toku ni, ano, ma, ano, culture, Nihon no culture wa, toku ni minasan ga, honto ni, ano, ogo, ano, mana ga i shi, yasashi i shi, so yu koto de, ano, sugoku, ano, ma, chigao toko mo aru ndesu kedo, honto ni Nihon no, one final question about Japan, and this is very important. What's your favorite yes. Japanese food? Uh, <laughs> okay, I enjoy the karage very much. I also enjoy, yeah, the, I eat a little of sushi and the sashimis, I think. Yeah, and also, I think all the food in Japan is quite wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think, even though I miss my uh, home, home, homeland food, but I think what I'm getting here, uh, uh, yeah, it's quite good and it's very nutritious also because I can see the nutritional values mostly written, written all over the foods that I eat. So I know how much of the calories I'm taking in, which sure. I sure. not, uh, which I don't get to experience when I'm home. Mm. Okay, so as yeah. long as you have karage, you're okay. Ah, if I have karage, I'll be happy. I know that the Japanese food is very popular. I like karage. Of course, I like sushi and sushi. But the Japanese food is very popular. It's very good. 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 Solomon, thanks for joining us. Thanks a lot, John. Uh, John. It's uh, very, very nice to have you. Um, now, tell us, first of all, where are you located? Where are you in Japan? Uh, currently, I'm located in um, and, and what um, school are you going to in Yamanashi right now? What school is it? It's the University of Yamanashi? Yes, the University um, of Yamanashi. Although the research itself is, um, to a large extent, at uh, nano, Nanomaterial Center. Mm -hmm. which I think is one of the leading uh, research institutions for fuel cells. Okay. They are no ima gami ni mo ditemasu kedo ano ma solomon no ma profile mita na kanji nan desu yo ne. De solomon mo sono renewable energy e do yu fu ni ano shizen no shigen o tsukatte energy o tsukuri dasu te yu koto de hydrogen ni ano shuchu shite ru desu yo ne. De Yamanashi no ano daigaku Yamanashi daigaku de ima and I understand you came in about the same time as Eric in 2021? Yeah, probably I came in slightly earlier because mm -hmm. I came in late 2020. Okay. So to mean early, I started my PhD in 2021 March. Yes. De, ano, ano, Solomon san wa 2020 Nihon ni kite, de mo ano, hakase go no benkyo shite ru desu yo ne. Um, I'm always intimidated when I speak to like the two of you who are very smart people. So please be kind to me. Um, <laughs> and do you also see your studies being a, a great help when you go back first to Kenya, but not only Kenya, but Africa, maybe as, as a whole uh, continent and then other parts of the world as well? Because that's like the most important 
study I think you can do nowadays. You know, maybe 10, 20 years ago, it used to be computers and digital, but now it's all about renewable energy, isn't it? Yes, especially considering the summer temperatures for this year. I think that's said to, to have been almost uh, the hottest temperatures in 120, almost 120 years. Yes. So to me, it's becoming more and more urgent to, let's say, sort out the um, carbon, uh, carbon emission problem. So like contain uh, the emissions from fossil fuels. So to mean, if you're able to, let's say, make fuel, um, fuel cells, and in particular, hydrogen powered uh, fuel cells, something that can be commercialized to a large extent, to a large scale all over the world, then this is a solution that will, uh, let's say, help Kenya as well as uh, the rest of the world. And in Kenya in particular, because you have, um, I think you're almost one of the top countries in geothermal uh, fuel. So, uh, so to mean, if you're able to also bring on board something like uh, hydrogen fuel cells, then to mean we'll have an almost um, maybe 70 to 80% renewable energy system, which will help the, I think the country and also the world at large. The energy, energy, ま、本当にま、皆さんご存知今年は、え、今まで一番暑い夏だったので、本当にもう深刻な問題になってるので、あの、どんだけそのま、石油とかね、そういうあのエネルギーじゃなくて、あの、本当にその、もっとナチュラ
次の日にはちゃんとまだそこにあるとかちゃんとあの届けられてるとかそういうところはあの日本人の大好きなところって言っていただいてます。And once again, you know, I asked Eric, so I have to ask you what's your favorite food in Japan?、Um, in Japan, I'd say my number one food is、um, takoyaki. Oh! <laughs> because yes, because it's very nice, very delicious.、Um, so all, I eat it almost, I think, every month. Whenever、wow. I visit, yes, I eat a lot of takoyaki. And I'd say my worst food is wasabi. Wasabi, wasabi. Is, wasabi is so hot. You eat it, you feel like your brain is on fire. How about <laughs> that? I know, it's a very skin and a takoyaki. So, the more you guys know, the Ichiban and the Nigatina no wasabi. What is it about takoyaki that you like so much? I think the taste is just nice. And also,、uh, The sizing is so convenient. So you eat it like you don't have to cut into pieces. You just eat it directly.、Yeah, so I really like it. Well, that's great.、Um, it's, it's so nice to have you both join us. And it's、uh, our great pleasure to introduce you to everybody here in Japan. And, I think now we're going to、uh, take a look at a、uh, film from Kenya. So thanks for joining us. Let's watch the film and then I'll call you guys back so you can take a break. And、uh, at this time, please turn off your、uh, microphones and your cameras. Eric and Solomon, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Now let's go to the movie. Hi. えー、という2人でしたが、えー、とこれから皆さんにあの、まあ、早速、えー、最初の映画を見,にいあ見,さ見ていただきたいと思います。えー、とまず皆さんにご覧いただくのは「えー、定住」という作品なんですけどあの YouTube のコメント欄にて、えー、作品をご覧、えー、の最中でもあの作品やあとあの権威について、えー、何か質問あ,のありましたらぜひ、えー、コメント欄の方で送っていただきたいと思います。で作品上映後に、えー、またあのお二方にあの登場していただいていろいろまた作品に対しての話もしたいと思います。えー、これから皆さんに、えー、ご覧いただくのは「定住」という本当にあのよくできている作品なのでこれからいただき、えー、ご覧いただきたいと思います。はい、えー、Short Film Trip to Kenya。Let's watch our first movie and、uh, please enjoy. There you go. はい、皆さんいかがでしたでしょうかえー、とお届けしたのは「定住 Forever Home」という作品、えー、本当にあの自然の、まあ、美しさというかあの空とか非常に印象的だったんですよねあのどうなんでしょうやっぱりでもあの干ばつがやっぱりあのアフリカだけじゃないと思うんですけど本当に非常に大きなあの、まあ、問題世界を直面していると思うんですよね。で、ここでまたお二人に参加していただきたいと思います。So can we get Eric and Solomon back with us? Come on back. Turn on your camera and your mics, please. There you guys are. Thank you very much.、Um, first, we'll start with you, Eric.、Uh, what, what did you think of the film? Okay. Yeah, I think it's a nice film. It, it portrays the plight of the people of Trukana. Which is the northern part of Kenya, showing the issues and how climate change has affected the people of Kenya and especially the pastorists. Because for those people,、uh, their main economic activity is mostly rearing of animals. And so, because of this climate change and、uh, desertification,、uh, we're seeing that their livestock is、uh, dying. And so, for that, they are losing a kind of livelihood. Yes, we can see that the That、uh, the women for, for sure they are mostly they are affected by this issue of climate change、mm. because they have children and they have the responsibility of maybe taking care of their families. Yeah, you see, the, they are really suffering because if you have kids and yet you have to look for water and also you have to take care of their homes、uh, and the water is not available because maybe the, the, the water pans have dried. And、usually, it's a pr problem to, to, the, to those people, and we can see they are really, really affected by this issue of climate change.、Uh, also, for most of the people, even for the men, you can see they are saying, because、uh, as you saw earlier, he said that、uh, before, even though during the droughts,、uh, there were droughts, but at least there would be some rains, and so their source of livelihood, mostly the animals, will not die. 
I think uh, uh, this one calls for global uh, uh, unison in fight against climate change. I see, yeah. Thank you very much, Eric. You're so right about that. Was Eric said, the council keep on the sea, I know, Korean, Kenya, no, eh, to, Kita no, ho, eh, ni, aru, ano, Tsurukana, to, you, Kiho, na, mas, kedo, ma, ya, pari, ano, ko, you, na, ti, no, あの、ま、動物を育てて、なんとか、あの、生活を、あの、してるんですけど、やっぱりお水がないと水がないと厳しくなってくるんですよね。で、特に女性、あの、子供子供も育てなきゃダメだし、家畜もあの、ちゃん
that like for instance when i go to tokyo i can mm. say it's quite different from what i see in kenya maybe capital city nairobi because mm. i do, can't say we are very much far ahead but i think in our buildings and in our planning mm. we integrate uh, uh, green uh, and trees because uh, yeah you find so many trees and actually in nairobi there is a uh, there is already a national park in between in 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 the city. I think it's the only uh, national park located in the city. Ooh. I think uh, what's there in Tokyo? Maybe uh, what we need to do maybe in the future maybe to integrate and have more trees because you see when when it's just a concrete jungle that's mm. where you feel the heat so much heat. Ma Erikson ki ga tsuita no wa toki ni Tokyo ni kuru toki wa ano sono ma hobo hobo ビルなんですよねもちろん、まあ、代々木とかいろんな公園があるんですけどやっぱりあのケニアのナイロビではあのプランニングがよくできてまして本当にところどころに木もありましてだからあの、ね、日本ではよくヒートアイランドっていう言葉を聞くんですけどやっぱり日本は例えば東京の場合はもっともっと木をあの育ててあの、まあ、今ねあの神宮の方もちょっと問題になってるんですけどあのそういうのはすごく気がついたと思ってるんですよね。で僕はあの2人に聞いたのはあのこの映画見た時空が非常に印象的だったんですよ。まあ、東京に住んでるせいもあると思うんですけどあんな壮大で綺麗な空がすごく印象的だったのでそれに対してちょっと聞いたんですけど。So, I'm, what about you? Anything you noticed?、Uh, for me, the sky was impactful because I live in Tokyo, but what about you? Yes, I'd say, like, I've gone to p a s s through Tokyo several times. And、uh, I would say the difference between Tokyo and maybe Nairobi or even Mbasa is that in Tokyo, you drive for quite a very long time with the same tall buildings.、Mm-hmm. But maybe in Kenya, you drive for, if you're driving through the CBD, maybe just,、um, let's say, 15 minutes, then the height of buildings start to reduce. Then you start to see, like,、um, there, yes, there are still buildings, but they are a bit more spaced, and the roads are probably much wider.、Mm-hmm. So there is place for m because, like, Kenyans love to run every morning. So people don't run on the street, but they run maybe beside the road. So I think that is、uh, maybe one key, maybe advantage of、uh, Nairobi.、Mm-hmm. Yes, or let's say most of the city is in Kenya.、Mm. So there is a lot of space between, let's say, the road, the main road, even the small roads and the buildings. So plenty of space. Thank you very much. So, the one that I was thinking about, Nairobi and Tokyo, the one that I was thinking about, 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 the one that I was t h i n k ということは、やっぱりもうちょっと空間があの広めに感じることができるんですよね。ですから、まあ、東京どっちよ、どの方向に行っても高いビルに囲まれているので、でナイロビはそうじゃなくてあの、なるべく高さを抑えて、空も見えるし、しかもスペースも幅広いので、もっともっとあの、まあ、ゆとりっていうか、空間が広く感じることがあるということを伝えてます、言ってますね。で早速ですねあの、YouTube のチャット欄に質問い,いろいろ来てます。本当に皆さんありがとうございます。嬉しい、これ本当に。で一つはですね、あのまあ、今年はあの夏は熱波で、あの県野は暑いというイメージがあるんですけど、あの例えば太陽光あの発電機とか、もうすでに進んでるんでしょうか。で、あのその舞台のトゥルカンナにあの行ったことあるのかという質問がありました。Um, so, um, we're getting some wonderful questions from our viewers. Uh, thank you very much to them.、Um, one question is、uh, of course, like, like we've mentioned, this summer was brutal, especially if you were here in Japan, here in Tokyo, it was just really、uh, historically very, very hot, too hot.、Um, this, this viewer said that Kenya has an image of being a very hot place.、Um, what about like sonar, solar uh, panel uh, energy? Is that like, you know, Increasing,、uh, is there a lot of solar power energy being used in Kenya? What's that situation like?、Um, Eric, you want to answer that? Yes, I can say、uh, for the solar panels,、uh, most of the some, some people are using now and、uh, integrating them in their buildings, mostly maybe for, for their own home use. 
maybe for heating, solar heating of the water, their mm -hmm. domestic water. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we have such, um, actually there was once a bill which had been passed before in by by the Ministry of Housing so that, that uh, every house should have a, oh. a water heat, solar water heater, but okay, people went, went and uh, uh, to the court and it was revoked because ah. they thought that it's it's quite expensive. Mm. But I can say, yeah, we have some people using uh, mostly the solar panels for their own home use. And also the government has uh, put up some plants. I can say by now, um, the figure maybe which I can get from my head is around 100 megawatts of solar, 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 solar plants. Solar energy, right? Yeah, be, but this is because mostly because uh, in as Solomon had told you earlier, we have a lot of geothermal. So the government mostly invests in geothermal because for geothermal, maybe uh, for a solar, uh, maybe a solar plant, you might get a little around five megawatt for some uh, one acre. And yet in geothermal, we can drill and get around 70, 80 megawatt for one, for, for one plant. So I think that's why maybe the government mostly uh, focuses more on the geothermal energy. Oh, uh, geodharma, geodimo. Geodimo, yeah, it's like uh, uh, energy in the and under the ground. So right, you right. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's well, steam. I, yeah, it's the steam. Yeah. The, ano, ma, kare ga yutten no wa, so no, mo chiron, ano, solar panel to ka, so na energy wa, ano, seifu ga don don, so no, ma, kakudai shi yo to shi tan da ke do, ma, chotto, ano, so no, 法律的には取らなかったっていうのはやっぱりコスト面に対してはみんな反対したんですよね。やっぱりまだちょっと高いことになってたので、あの結局はあの正式には法律的には取らなかったんだけど、まあ一時的にはなるべく全ビルがソー
what is uh, the most delicious food uh, in Kenya? What's Kenyan food that's, that's really, really delicious? Eric, do you have a favorite food in Kenya? What's Kenyan food like? Uh, yeah, mostly of the Kenyans, they eat mostly like freshly uh, prepared food straight from the garden to the, to the pan. So I can say mostly what we eat is a corn, like corn, corn meal, ugali, corn. it's called ugali, where you just have yeah. corn and you pound it, you make it some, some flour, then you can make something, I can't say corn cake, but I don't know the English name, it's just called ugali. Okay. And also some vegetables. So you'll find mostly people eat maybe that, that is, that is the step of food because the step of food is, ugali, is a maize. So we eat the maize and in that form. Oh, and okay. uh, mostly maybe other foods contain the vegetables, that's the kales, and uh, mainly maybe uh, goat meat. That one I can say is what uh, most people will consume like on daily basis. And uh, there are some lakes and, and some oceans, so people mm. will also eat some fish from the lakes and uh, the oceans. Thank you very much. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
of course, there are professionals who yeah. are not so many, but for um, normal people, there's so much embracing of that technology. Ah, so out of okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, it's gotten so easy to to make a film. All you need is an iPhone. So, yes. you know, hopefully we'll get more and more interesting films from Kenya in the future. あの、今のそのまあ、映像業界に対して、え、聞いてるんですけど、それもさんはまあ、やっぱり最、最近はやっぱり機材的に、まあ、例えばiPhoneで作れるようになったので、で、やっぱりTikTokがやっぱりちょ
Um, what, what's it like right now, do you think, Eric? Is it getting better? Are they doing something about it? Yeah, terrorism is quite a, a hot topic because yeah, we, we should separate it from just uh, general crime mm. because terrorism is uh, like uh, a crime against humanity. In Kenya, we have terrorism because being that uh, we are bontering Somalia, Somalia is the country which, uh, which is now a failed state and from the 90s. And because of that, since we are bordering and the border is quite long, it's over 600, nearly 700 kilometers. You know, when, whenever there is a failed state, uh, whenever a country fails, there's usually the breeding of the mm. terrorists because it becomes a, a, like their breeding ground. So because of that, the, in so, because of the situation of Somalia, yeah. we've had so many of the terrorists, uh, like the Al-Qaeda, the Al-Qaeda uh, linked. For them, they call themselves al Shabab, And because of that, they move now to Kenya. And uh, that border is quite long. It's 600 kilometers, so it's difficult to maybe to, to protect it. Wow. So it will get some horror somehow. So those guys have been sometimes uh, even though now it's improving, but in then 2010 up to maybe 2018, oh. somewhere there, it was quite a problem to the country. And if you recall very well, uh, we have had like some of very big attacks uh, where one was inside a shopping mall. I can oh. imagine inside a shopping mall, we lost over six to nine people. Another one was in a university. Uh, so they killed over 147 in one day. So this is something which uh, is quite a problem to 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 countries mm -hmm. most like nearly everywhere and and for us it's quite unfortunate because we are bordering a country which is a breeding ground for for an Al Qaeda linked uh, terrorist group. So yes, it's quite a challenge for us. Thank you very much for that, Eric. Um, like I said, it's it's a problem that's worldwide, but it's you know some of this we we, we wouldn't know here in Japan. So it's it's you know we appreciate you bringing that up. They my you might chian to ka ma kenya no jose fukume chian to ka tero no hanashi choto oga shite rin desu kero yappari ano kokyo ga Somalia ga arimashite hijou ni nagai kokyo nan desu ne 600 kilometer kara ano 700 kilo no kokyo ga arimashite de Somalia wa mo ima mo kanzen ni ano kimi ga tsuburete mashite so yu toko wa honto ni tero ga もう ちょっとずつ、あの、ま、対策をしてるみたいなんですけど、やっぱりそういう長い国境があると本当に大変なことなんですよね。And Solomon, what about uh, the standards in Kenya? Of course, Nairobi is a big city. Uh, you mentioned trains here in Japan. Um, what's the general, you know, setup and, and how, how well does things run now, do you think, in Kenya? I'd say it depends with the location in Kenya. So like uh, towards the cities, uh, the arrangement is almost the same as a city in Japan. So you mm -hmm. have running water, you have um, proper transport system, uh, you have proper entertainment if you want to watch a movie, cinema halls. Uh, but as you move, let's say towards the arid, semi-arid semi areas, then things change quickly. And the priority now becomes uh, what to drink, so water and security. So in particular, let's say for the security part, um, then you'll find, of course, there is the external security, the external threats mm -hmm. so like Al-Shabaab. But if you move to like um, the arid areas, then the uh, internal insecurity comes during the dry season because Kenya has two key seasons, the wet season and dry season. So during the dry season, then there is uh, conflicts or clashes related to water. But for the normal, let's say when there's water, then it's very safe, almost internally wow. all over itself. Yes. But when the resources reduce, then clashes start internally. But in this urban areas, it's more or less like Japan. 
That is, that is really, really interesting to know. I know that まあ、ソロモンさんにはその治安とかその情勢にちょっとお伺いしてるんですけどあのケニアの場合はその場所によるんですよね。例えばナイロビアはもう本当にもう大,大都市なのであのちゃんとした、まあ、そのお水からあの交通機関だからエンターテインメント含めてしっかりもうその、ね、設備とかいろいろ整えててあのできてるんですけど地方になるとどっちかと言ったら一番大きい問題はやっぱりお水なんですよね。で、そのケニアは大体その、まあ、いわゆる夏、乾いたシーズンと季節と、まあ、濡れたシーズン、あの雨の季節みたいなのが極端に2つがありまして、で、その本当に干ばつみたいな乾いたあのその季節になるとそこでいろいろ問題とか治安が悪化するとかあの問題が生まれてくるんですよね。なぜかというとみんなその水を探してあの必死なのでそういう状況になるっていうのはあの、まあ、ケニアでは独特じゃないと思うんですけどあのそういう問題もあるっていう感じなんですよね。That's very, very interesting. Solomon, I haven't forgotten. This is very important. We need to hear from you what your favorite Kenyan food is. I'd say,、uh, let's say on a daily basis, people will mostly eat the ugali that、um, Eric mentioned. But、uh, like in Japan, people don't eat,、uh, let's say, ra、uh, ramen on a daily basis.、Mm -hmm. So there's a day to go to a restaurant to eat ramen. In the case of Kenya, people go to the restaurant mostly to eat ugali and roast meat. Actually, recently we added the word choma to the dictionary. Because we use it a lot, and choma means roasted goat, which is so special、uh -huh. for us.、Yes. Uh -huh. So, when we go to,、uh, let's say, outing, we don't want boiled meat, no. We、uh -huh. want roasted meat. So, I'd say,、um, let's say the most favorite when going out is always roasted meat. Ugali and choma. Yes, it's ugali and choma.、Oh. Sometimes, sometimes. Now I can go to Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we also eat chapati.、Ah. Chapati, yes. Chapati is not similar to the Indian one. This is very special also. So, chapati、okay. with choma or ugali and choma, that's the most, let's say, favorite when going out. I love goat meat. So, I'm going to be okay in Kenya. チャンスがなかったのでソロモンさんにケニアで一番好きな食べ物と聞いたらやっぱりそのウガリっていうそのトウモロコシの,あの、まあ、いろいろ作られたものとあとやっぱりチョマっていうのはあの羊なんですよねであのソロモンさんはあのその例えばユリタさん蒸すあの羊じゃなくてやっぱりロースト焼いたあのバーベキューした羊が一番好きなのでであのケニアではあのチャパティもあるんですよねインドのチャパティじゃなくてケニア独特のチャパティもあるみたいなのであの、まあ、僕もねあの羊なんか大好きなので全然行っても大丈夫だっていうことになってたんですけどあの、まあ、ソロモンさんもね日本だったらやっぱりラーメンだったらみんなねラーメン屋に行って食べるとかでケニアでもナイロビだったらやっぱりみんなお店に行ってあのショウマとウガリ食べるみたいです。はいあのどうなんでしょう大野さんは何か好きなケニアだけじゃなくてアフリカンフードみたいなのはあるんですか何か食べ物では。はい、ありがとうございます。私、ケニアは本当に1回しか行ったことなくて、それもナイロビだけだったんですよね。はいうん、なので、えっと、それほどよく知ってるわけじゃない,ないです。ちょっと食べ物からずれちゃうんですけれども、うん、ナイロビ、本当に大きな町で、ビルがたくさん並んでるんですけど、はい、そこに、えっと、大きな鳥が飛んでいてあの、電柱の上とかに止まっていて、うんアフリカハゲコウっていうマラブだと思うんですけど街中にいてすっごいびっくりしたのが印象的でした。はい、そ,それはそれは食べないのかな ?I don't think so.I <笑><笑> just said that I, I went to Nairobi for a very short period of time and it was a huge city with a lot of buildings. It's just like same as America or like Japan, but I saw a big huge Bird. I think it's called Marabu, and that was really impressive. <laughs> and I asked her if people eat Marabu. Ah, no, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> 
そうかあでもなんかねあの、まあ、映像だけじゃなくて2人と話してあの本当になんか魅力的なあの国だと思うし、まあ、その本当に厳しいところもあればそのナイロビみたいな大都市もあるというバランスもあ,のある国だと思うのであの本当に、まあ、これから、ね、皆さんもぜひぜひ、えー、チェンニアに注目していただきたいと思います。あの本当に長いお付き合いありがとうございました。First of all, thank you very much, Eric Mathuru, Mathuku, and also Solomon Wekesa. You two guys were great. Thank you for、uh, hanging out with us for so long. Come to Tokyo. I'll take you to Takoyaki and I'll take you to Eric, whatever you want to eat. No problem. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us and stay with us so we can wave、uh, goodbye to everybody. So, Shite, Jaika Yokohama, no, Ono san. Huntoni, I know, Tsuki, I got those I must. はい、本当にありがとうございます、うんはい。あの、これからもよろしくお願いしたいと思います。で、はい、あの、皆さんね、あの、本当に、あの、ショートフィルムを通して、ケニアのリアルな、知れだと思うんですが。また、あの、出演した。いただいたゲストの皆さん、本当にありがとうございます。で、YouTube 概要欄にはアンケートフォームをご用意しておりますので、アンケートの方もご,用あのご協力よろしくお願いしたいと思います。えー、我々、ショートショートフィルムフェスティバルでは、えー、こういうふうに世界を皆さんに、えー、見ていただいて、えー、感じていただいて、えー、ご覧いただいてあの、楽しんでいただきたいと思いますのであの、これからもよろしくお願いします。OK、Guys, Jumbo, thank you very much. And、uh, we will hope to see you again soon, okay? Jaika Yokama, Korekano, Minasan, Anno, Tsta, Yoroshiku, Onigashimas, so Ste, Korekano, Owen, you know, you know, collaboration with Shimasho, Yoroshiku, Onigashimas. Do Maria to Gozaimasta, Yoroshiku, Onigashimas, Yokohama, you might ask the good side, Tokyo, the Kajanakte. Hi, yeah, she said, come to Yokohama too. Yokohama is a great town. Anno, Jitsua, Yokama, Marides. Yokohama boy. Born, I was born and raised in Yokohama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. See you next time. Thank you. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.